this is our 74 Bronco that we built for SEMA in 2017. Uh, we've been on the show circuit with it for about six months now. Uh, we came out here to the industrial injection booth for the ultimate call out challenge to kind of showcase a little more and get the uh, people to take a look at it and see what the response is on it. But most of the reaction is, uh, oh, that's a 74 Bronco. Oh, wait, it's diesel powered. Oh, that's, that's cool. Uh, can we hear it run? How much horsepower do you make? You know, uh, what it take to put it in there? You know, what turbo is it? What injectors are in it? You know, the, the, it, was a, it was a pretty good hit during SEMA. So we had a lot of people come around and talk about it. And we had Diesel World Magazine approach us about possibly taking some photos of it and things like that and, and get it in a magazine, which I thought was really cool considering we've never built anything of this scale before ever. And we went, you know, from start to finish in two months time to this. So we went out to the desert, we shot some pictures and the, the story was, or, or the, the, what I was told was it wouldn't be a cover issue because it was not a pickup and pickups are what sold the magazine and that was their customer base. So it would, it would be something in it, but it never got a real sense of it. So two months after SEMA, they had a special SEMA Builders Edition and uh, they had uh, Sean O'Hare's Blue Dooley on the cover and at the bottom was about a one inch by one inch photo of the Bronco running through the desert, which was really cool because it was on the cover, small, but it was on the cover. And then there was a, probably a, a four or five inch photo of it in the SEMA builders of one of the cooler SUVs at SEMA. Fast forward another two months, a friend of mine sends me a picture and says, hey man, I got my magazine with your Bronco on the cover. So I responded with, that's cool. I, you know, the, it was on the cover with the Sean's truck. And he said, no, I don't think you understand what, I, what I'm meaning. So he screenshots a picture of his magazine on his phone and sends it to me on Facebook Messenger of the actual cover of the magazine. And Diesel World had told me, you know, that it wouldn't be and never had said anything otherwise. So we wound up with the cover of the magazine and a six-page story in the center of the book. Man, I was jumping around the shop and showing everybody I could and texting my wife at work and you know, just it was it was a real shock and something that we hadn't really expected to to get that much exposure on it.